Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, I let you know that Microsoft had rolled out the latest version of Edge, version 138. And I've already seen a comment on the channel asking, why are there yellow flags on extensions in settings since Edge version 138? Now, this is actually something that's been in preview for quite some time and has now made its way to the stable version. So to show you what I'm talking about, if we head to our Manage Extensions, those little yellow flags, it's actually a little circle with a yellow background with a question mark in it. Now what these little yellow flags are, for want of a better word, is they are typically warnings or indicators related to extension performance or security and trustworthiness. Now it's got nothing to do with deprecating MV2 extensions or uBlock Origin, anything like that. So first of all, when it comes to performance, Edge has rolled out an extension performance detector that now identifies extensions that could be impacting your browser performance, like slowing down page loading as an example. So if an extension is causing issues over time, Edge will then flag it to alert you and provide options to manage or disable that actual extension. And at the end of the day, the feature is basically there to help you optimize your browser. And then in regards to security, it can also flag extensions that are not from the official Microsoft Edge add-on store, or those that might have been installed without user consent, example, bundled with other software. So it's basically a security measure. So at the end of the day, it's just a warning bringing that to your attention that there could be something wrong with that extension or it could be causing issues due to performance and security. So if you see a yellow flag on an extension, then what you can do is you can just click on that extension, go into details to see if there's a specific reason for the warning. Now, I'm not seeing any specific reason for the warning um, on those two extensions that have been flagged. So you can then decide whether to keep disable or remove the extension based on the information given. But I've seen these in preview for months now on the extensions page and nothing has actually changed in the browser or anything else like that. So, so I hope this answers the question why those yellow flags are appearing in settings after the rollout of version 138. And obviously if I get any more other information or new information, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.